We're lucky in this club because we have people like Bruce Pokey, Mark Samet, Janice. What do they all do? Healthcare consultant for insurance, financial consultants. Why do I raise these questions? Because healthcare is the number one reason for bankruptcy in the United States. Can't pay your bills for healthcare. I want you to look to the left, followed by the right, and recognize that with one out of three people going to get cancer, that if it's not the person to the left or to the right, it's you. Uh -oh. <laughs> The purpose of this project is to make a connection with people through storytelling. The emergency department is a chaotic place. The emergency physician has to juggle all the people that are there, set priorities of their problems, and deal with it. The story I'm going to share with you today is about Laura. I went to work on a Friday, which is sort of typical. I walked in. There was a trauma already arriving. There was a person in the other bed that was having a heart attack. And after stabilizing and taking care of those people, I looked out of the corner of my eye. There was this five foot tall woman with three kids crying. I walked over and I said, are you hurting somewhere? After she stopped sobbing, she said, no, but I have a question for you. And I said, what's the question? He says, well, I have this pain in my chest, and I'm short of breath, and it's been progressing. I said, do you have anyone that can watch your three children, ages two, four, and six? She said, my mother's here with me. So I said, let's bring your kids to your mother, and let's go to this bed and we can start talking some more. She got into a gown and we examined her and what she had was a large, necrotic, ugly looking thing on her right breast. And I asked her, how long has this been there? She said about three years. And I said, had you not seen this before when you shower or dress or anything like that? I said, yes, I knew it was there. He says, have you gone to a doctor about this? She says, no. I asked, why didn't you go to a physician? This could be very serious. She said, I don't have health insurance. I can't afford it. And what's worse is my husband, who was undocumented, was picked up in an ice rig. And now I have these three kids, and I'm trying to make it doing odd jobs and cleaning houses. I can't afford insurance. I certainly couldn't afford medication. I can't afford going to the hospital. I said, let's take a look at your problem with shortness of breath. And as we did her workup and evaluation, we found out that she had lesions on her lung, which is why she was having such a short time with breathing. She had a difficult time with that because she had mass lesions in her lungs. And we said, we shared this information with her and we said, this does not look good. You have a big necrotic lesion on your breast. This is most likely cancer. We'll need pathology to confirm that need surgery at this point in time it looks like you're going to need at least a mastectomy and the spots that I showed her on the chest look like lesions that needed biopsies to confirm and I said you're going to need surgery you're most likely going to need radiation you're going to need chemotherapy she went from just tears and sniffling to outright weeping. She said, what am I going to do? I don't think my mom could take care of these kids. 
I'm still worrying every day where my husband is. I don't know what to do. I said, we'll have social service work with you, but we're gonna need to admit you to the hospital. This is serious. I asked her, why did you not do something about this? She said, fear. Fear of financial ruin with whatever they had saved. Fear of going to a hospital, being out of commission, not able to do the jobs that she was doing. Fear that her family would be put in jeopardy if she went into the hospital. Fear of financial ruin. This is what happens when you don't visit Bruce and take care of a health insurance program to take care of those unexpected catastrophes that can bankrupt you. This story does have a happy ending. Laura did get admitted to the hospital. She had her surgery, chemo, and radiation, and she survived. At this point, it's five years, and she is a five-year breast cancer survivor, even though she had meds to her lungs, a metastatic disease to her lungs. The importance here is that there are many diseases that we've made tremendous progress in, but it's important for you to identify, go to the doctor, and go early in the course of a disease if you're gonna have a result that is favorable. This is a connection through this story that I want to make with you. Everybody's at risk for some disease. Everybody has the potential of having a turnaround and a cure. It doesn't have to financially bankrupt you if you do appropriate healthcare planning.